Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to our another video of end-to-end -end web automation testing with Cypress course. And in this video, we're talking about visual testing with Perzy and Cypress. All right, so let's get started. Visual testing with Perzy. Visual testing is an automated process of detecting and reviewing visual UI changes. Teams are replacing manual testing with automation to ensure their websites and applications always looks exactly as indented. Well, as that said, with Perzy makes Cypress more awesome because since all these days, testing graphs, visual changes in UI, or even verifying any cosmetic alignments in application UI was harder, and Perzy makes the integration more smoother and easier right now. So as that said, the setup of the Cypress with Perzy is also very, very easy because it's very, very fluent and much easier to perform all the operation in very, very few commands, something like this. The first thing we need to do is to install the Perzy using this command, npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev at Perzy slash Cypress. And then we need to import the at Perzy slash Cypress in our Cypress slash support slash command dot JS. So this is exactly the same file that we use to install a lot of plugins and custom commands that we created in our previous videos of this course. And then we need to call the sci.perzy snapshot method to consume or take a snapshot and we can also pass the name if we want. And again, these are all optional. If you, even if you don't pass the name, it is gonna take the it blocks name by itself. And finally, to run the Perzy, we have to do this. Perzy exec hyphen hyphen cypress run will make your code to run using this Perzy command. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm gonna flip to my Visual Studio Code IDE. All right, so this is the same project that we were working on our previous video of this course. And as you can see in our previous videos, we were trying to execute our code using the API test, EA uh, spec.js, EA app spec.js, file upload, and test SHR spec.js. And we have discussed about Cucumber and all those stuffs. So today what we're gonna do is we are gonna be working with the perseed.io uh, to see the visual testing power as well along with our course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna be installing the Perzy within our project and then I'll be getting started with all those stuffs. So the first thing is I'm gonna open the iterm terminal over here and then I'm gonna be installing the Perzy. So for installing, all we have to do is just put the npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev at Perzy slash Cypress. So this will install Perzy within our project. So as you can see within the package.js, you will have this Perzy Cypress over here. And you can see that it is installing everything for us. And it's also installing the node module of Puppeteer within our project because it actually uses Puppeteer to take a screenshot behind the scene. All right, that's it. So it seems like the installation has been successfully completed. And the next thing we need to do is to import the Percy Cypress within our command.js file. And the command.js file is sitting under our Cypress support and command.js file. So as you can see, this is the file that we were using all these days for file upload and all those stuff. So I'm just gonna be using that as well. I'm gonna save it. And then we need to use the sidart Percy snapshot method within our code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to our integration folder here within the examples, you can see that we have many different cores that we have written. So why not just try to use them? So just try to avoid using the side art per C snapshot in the before each method, rather you can directly use it over here. So I'm just going to import the per C snapshot and then I'm just gonna start using that particular code. So as you can see, per C snapshot expect the intelligence to work here because that won't really work so i'm just going to be putting it over here for this and then i also need to take a snapshot for the assertion of the code so i'm just going to put that over here and then within the ea app i think i can use that over here as well so uh, let's see before clicking 
uh, the benefit I need to take a snapshot and then once it is done I also need to take a snapshot wrap over here and then for the file upload I don't really think we need to do that because we have not did a lot over there but I'm just gonna be putting it just for our sake of our test execution and test SHR I for sure I don't really require that to be there because I cannot change anything in the lambda test website so I'm just gonna leave that as it is and finally we need to execute this particular code in within our Percy so what I'm gonna do is for executing this particular code if I just go over here within this terminal and let's do this control C and I'm just gonna do this npx per C exec as we saw in the slide I'm just gonna use that here and then if I try to run this particular command you can see that it is gonna say that skipping visual test per C token was not provided so let me just stop this particular stuff here and I will show you what's really happening here so basically in order to communicate with the Percy you need to have a authentication with the Percy.io itself so basically I have already created an Percy token within my test here so I can quickly show you that so it's Percy.io website so you need to go here Percy.io this is the website which is responsible for storing all your visual testing you need to sign up with a free account with the Percy so that you can have all your tests there. So I have already signed up and I actually have nine days left for my trial to end. So now if I go to the project settings and you can see that you need to enable this particular stuff if you want. I have just enabled uh, the Chrome and if you come down within the project name, this is the project name that you will be creating by default while you are trying to create a Percy project for the first time. That's exactly what I have given here. And then if you come down here, you have this particular Percy token. So this is the thing that you need to be using for sitting within your environment variable. So you need to export this particular Percy token for your environment variable. So I'm just gonna copy this guy and then I'm gonna go to this uh, terminal. And then if I say export, Percy underscore token is equal to this guy and if I hit enter now you can see that the Percy token has been exported for me and you can do the exact same thing even in the uh, in the Visual Studio code terminal if you want right so something like export Percy underscore token is equal to this right and now if you try to run this command npx percy exec hyphen hyphen cypress run so what happens is now you don't see that particular warning the skipping visual test dot uh, percy token was not provided rather it says that creating a build number 11 for us and it is now running the test for us so now what happens is basically all your tests are executing within your local machine but it is running along with the percy as well so now you have this particular chromium installed while you are trying to install the Percy, basically, if you just see here, we we had this particular uh, Puppeteer uh, installed and we also had this particular Chromium being downloaded. So basically behind the scene, it is running like a two instances of test execution. One is within your Electron browser and another one is within the Chrome Chromium browser for taking a snapshots. So you can see that currently the test is uh, running and you can see that it is saying that there are some test beans failed because for the API testing we actually require our uh, fake JSON server to be up and running which is fine we don't really have that yet I have not initiated that but you can see that it is currently executing the other tests for us and it has taken a snapshot for us like taking uh, testing of EA app testing EA site for assertion with hooks and now let's quickly go to the percy.io website and see what's really happening so if I go here within our bills the bill number 11 actually is the one just currently executing you can see it's saying uh, receiving bills and if I go to this particular build you can see that currently nothing has really happened because it is executing the test for us for the first time right so once it is executing the test for the first time there won't be uh, much of change so here it is still executing the test for us and it is going to take a snapshot on things so once everything is done i'll be back and now you can see that it also 
shows us a message within the Percy that the name of each snapshot must be unique and this name is already exist in the build action file upload demo. So what happens is as you can see within the file upload spec.js file over here we have used this particular Percy like two times here. So that's the reason I intentionally made this. So if you have this Percy snapshot available like two times it basically has to be with the different names. So something like it should be like uh, before and then it should be like after something like that. So if you specify this like that then it will be like two snapshots for you. So if you keep on specifying the snapshot without any name so it's basically going to take the first name as file upload demo as you can see in here file upload demo is taken but the next snapshot is going to be exactly the same like, like the it block and it's going to be throwing you the error and that's the reason you are seeing this particular error and right now our test has been struck because the file upload actually requires the code to be executed with this particular website which currently uh, something like taken down or something like that and it is not recognizing so I'm just gonna stop this particular test and for the sake of our test execution I'm gonna go to this eaapp.spec.js file which is the one I'm very interested in and I'm gonna be taking a snapshot like after I'm just gonna be mentioning that over here I'm gonna be executing the same test run but this time I'm gonna be executing based on just one spec file which is going to be this guy right the eaapp.spec.js file so i'm just going to copy the path i'm just going to be pasting it over here and then i'm going to be executing this oops i forgot to specify a uh, hyphen hyphen here all right so it's executing only one test right now so now if i go over here uh, within our is it automation project and you can see that we have this particular build, uh, build number 14. So let's see what's really happening. So it has finished the test execution and it has, uh, it has been failed for some reason, which is okay. And now let's go here and let's try to refresh this. So you can see that the new snapshot has been created, but nothing has, is there to compare with our existing build. So that's fine, that, that's the exact reason why we are actually using the Percy. So as you can see, we have executed our Percy test for the first time with our Cypress and we don't really see any cosmetic change or failure in here for the first time. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to change our EA app right now. So I'm going to go to the file manager and you can see that this is my actual application hosted within my website. So I'm going to go and change the version number to version 3.0 in the about, but actually the version of the app is, let's say is 2.0, something like that. So the developer has missed this particular version and he just changed this to 3.0 or something like that. And I have to change this particular cosmetic uh, changes and I want to see how it actually recognized by Cypress with Percy, right? So I'm just going to do this. I'm actually going to open a text editor and I'm going to change this to maybe version 3.0 and the uh, 20 courses available over here, the source code available, I'm going to change this to 30 or something like that, right? I'm going to go to the file manager, I'm going to upload this particular file and I'm going to hit OK, upload the file, oops, that's kind of crazy error here and let's do this again go to the views go to the home i'm gonna upload again upload upload files all right so now it is uploaded and now if i go to the eaapp.somi.com so now the version 2.0 will be changed to 3.0 and uh, more than source code 20 has been changed to 30. You can see that these both has been changed. It seems to be very, very minor UI change here, which we cannot actually detect by our eyes very quickly. So for that reason, I'm actually going to use the visual testing, by the way. So I'm just going to run the exact same test this time. And you can see how the test actually is going to compare that for us. And it's going to report as the failure in our screenshot or something like that.
so you can see that the test has been successfully started here and the build has been created by Percy as well and I'm gonna go to the Percy website so the build number is actually 15 so I'm gonna go here and it is still receiving the build so let me open that uh, right so the test has been successfully completed so now if I refresh this build you can see that we now should have some visual difference so it says the processing visual differences so there are like uh, zero of two screenshots being processed and Percy is currently processing things for us there you go something is shown here as a red dot and that's exactly what is the changes which is available over here so you can see that the changes as you can see here this guy shows that has been changed so now if you click this you can see version 3 and 30 these two things has been changed so this is exactly what Percy shows us in a visual difference even there is a very minor changes in the UI the screenshot comparison algorithm of Percy will show us that this is what has been changed in your applications cosmetic so these are something which we have never did before with our Cypress and these kind of service like Percy are really really easy to handle with and work with to compare the visual changes of UI so that's it guys this is how we can perform visual change testing with Cypress and Percy and once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day